What's going on, everybody? So I went up to Louisville for a card show today. Had all kind of video footage again. And I made sure I didn't fat thumb the back end of it to where it went into, I don't know what it was called, like time lapse video, something like that. And I was towards the end of the show. Went to take some more footage and it said SD card error. Took it out, wiped it out, you know, blew in to make sure there's no dust and all that. Came home, couldn't find a way to save it. I had to reformat. So I think I'm going to have to buy some new SD cards. Just so this doesn't happen anymore. Really, really upsetting on that. Um, there were some great conversations about how Genesis and basketball this year was being produced more than before. Uh, just based off of what some guys got when they were breaking, opening up their own case as a retail. It was just, it's insane. Um, there was some talk of Marvel stuff up there. It was really, really good because I'm not a Marvel person. Um, try to learn it, but it's going to be a long process. Uh, I'm trying to think. Some stuff on vintage, which I always enjoy talking vintage and learning more about. But, yeah, this is going to be more of a recap video. I do apologize. I'll get myself squared away yet one day. <laughs> Can't believe it happened. So let me think here. How can I start this? I got so many stacks here. It's not even funny. Um, this came, well, between two deals. There was another car at this, and I'll explain it later. Ben Roethlisberger tops Chrome, and I want to say, yep, 2013. Uh, just wanted something different. Seen it, I mean, for a buck, I'll take it. You know, I, I, don't, I haven't looked at any of this stuff under scope or anything like that. Just a lot of pickups. This was different. From Fleer, this is 1996. These are temporary tattoos. Card number 16, believe it or not, this is a $30 thing. I mean, I was in shock by it. Something different you don't see every day. And like I said, that's what I was doing, looking for stuff we don't see. Because, you know, hey, a lot of stuff nowadays is produced by the probably tens and twenties and hundreds of thousands anymore. Um, print run of each card. Well, I'd probably go probably tens of thousands, but something different I thought was kind of cool. Picked it up. I, I had no idea this had a value on to it until I looked it up. This is this is Venom, of course, on to it. But uh, thirty two dollars last sell on that. Kind of different. Again, you guys might be able to school me more on Marvel and stuff like that, but I just try to pick up different stuff. So eventually, um, once my mom returns back down here, I start setting up at shows. You have different stuff because. What I've under, really found is that being unique there, you will do better, not just in terms of sales, but in people talking to you. When you have the same stuff that the table next to you and two tables down and the rest of the people there all have, you just don't get the same thing. People just browse by you, even though you might have some cool stuff. It's just like they're like, blah, same thing. Keep moving. So as you guys will see, a lot of this stuff was different pickups across the board. All right, I got to not hit the camera and not hit the knee. Again, my knee is all jacked up. Luckily, my buddy Steve was there and told me to have a seat. A-Rod, little hologram from SPX. That's yeah, not a card. It's fuzz, dog hair, pug hair, whatever you want to call it. Pretty cool. I mean, a buck. What the heck? Pick this up. I don't think it's going to grade well, so I'll probably use this as a giveaway down the road. Um... But Durant Rookie, the Black Parallel. I care why I didn't see. I think there's something somewhere in here. Kind of like a line. Like, I don't know. It's not like a, like a wrinkle, not like a, I don't know, something like that. You guys will see it later. Pick this up. Bay for Pittsburgh. Elite Extra Edition. Just as part of the deal. I have no idea what these are valued at. But, you know, for a couple bucks, I'll take it and see what happens down the road with it. Man, I just got hair everywhere today. All right, I'm going to make two different stacks here so I know I went through stuff. All right, this was all part of one deal. I went to a table. This is where I really wanted, or there's two cards I really want. next one too. But Billy Goodman, 7, 52 Bowman. You don't really see a lot of 7s, 8s, 9s, stuff like that there, so I picked this up. Um, a long time ago, I was trying to do the PSA set on this, and luckily I still had uh, my registry set not published, so I was able to look. But... You know, stuff like this here in this great condition, it just it speaks for itself, you know, offhand. So, yes, and yes, I do have baseball today. Baseball, especially vintage. 
All right, let's keep trucking along here. This stuff here will all go into the website. Some of you are going to be like, what the heck? But out here it sells. Don't know why. But um, Dominic Wilkins, Jersey Piece. I just lost kind of my focus there because I'm over here messing around. I'll just hold them like this. Pretty cool. I mean, you don't see this kind of stuff much out of 249. This was a Panini product, 2010. I think it was just straight Panini back then that this came out of. There was no, like, weird name to the set. So, story behind these, Donovan Mitchells, he had three different prices on. It was like in a 50% off box. And he actually gave it to me at the low tag on all three. So, Essentials, Donovan Mitchell. I'm not telling anybody ever to go out and buy people. But I think this guy has a little bit of potential. Um, just gets overlooked as well. But picked up three of them. They were really, really good shape that I may PSA down the road if they don't sell. But, I mean, when you, I got them at the, like, I don't know, very, very cheap. Very cheap onto them. So, that's why I could do other stuff with other cards that he had for sale. This here is really surprising. You guys hear me talk about Trey Young, very, very undervalued. If you look at the price of his stuff compared to Luka, you're just like, huh? I got Luka triple doubles and all the hype with him. But Trey Young, I mean, they went to conference finals last year and stuff. It just, I'm just in shock by a lot of it, you know. But this here used to be, I want to say $150, $200 card, and now it's down to like under 20 bucks. So something I'm going to probably hold on to for a while. Um, it is IOC left and right onto it, as you can see. Still, Trey Young, man, rookie from the city. And this stuff here only came in Chronicles that year. 93, I want to say. I can't even read it now. Yeah, 93 finest. Um, Penny Hardaway. Still sells very well for this stuff because they're starting to get older and harder to find. Um, Dora Meyer, you know, Penny and Shaq were together. You had Scotty and Jordan and Rodman. Uh, just, I, I like Penny Hardaway as a young player and everything. So I picked this up. These still sell, I think, around 15-ish. Maybe maybe less 10. I can't remember. I know, Blake Bortles. Everybody's gonna be like, why'd you get Blake Bortles? Out here, there's a bunch of big Blake Bortles collectors. And because of the patchiness and being out of 10, it was just like a no-brainer to me. Um, you know, I could pick it up, maybe make a couple dollars off it whatsoever. Same with the uh, rookie here from Tops. Pretty cool overall. I mean, when you're paying, you know, a dollar or something here and there, it's worth it. I just picked this up just because I like these silhouettes. It's Zaire Smith. On the Sixers uh, uniform and stuff out of 199. This guy's nothing crazy or anything at all, but just one of those things. You know, it's different because the rookie silhouettes were big for a while. They still kind of are. Last one from this deal: Trey Young, Luminance rookie. These sell still decent. Again, it's Trey Young. Guy it came out of Chronicles, but back then it was not highly produced like it is now, too. So that all came from one person. A lot of this stuff will go in the store. I do not know when. Um, probably tomorrow being Sunday. I don't know if I'm putting this video out today or tomorrow. So I may get pumped in tonight too. Oh, let's move here. So guy I always buy vintage from. I just seen this and had to get it. I don't know what it's worth. I just was a fan of this Ghost Rider stuff back in the day. And I'm not talking about the movie. The movie was like crazy. <laughs> But this here is actually out of some type of set, limited edition. I guess it's like a subset in there, 6 out of 12. Just picked it up. I, I like it. It's in good condition, maybe gradable. It's probably like a $10 card, I'm guessing, maybe. I don't know. Picked this up, and he threw this in, basically, for the deal. Marvel Comics Superheroes Moon Knight. Now, I don't know if the, how true this is, but he said this is like the one of the next movies coming out by Marvel. Again, not a Marvel person, but Joey over the bullpen will definitely be able to tell me. 1990. Pretty decent shape. I mean, I can't remember when I looked these up. They're really not expensive. They're under, I think, 20 bucks. Um, Just enjoy the old artwork on this stuff. And that's what I mean. I 
wasn't going crazy today on stuff, even though I did get a lot of cards. It was more for myself or down the road as being a collector versus being a reseller. <laughs> that's what my license says. Wholesale, resell. Bunch of vintage coming up here. All right, let me flip my other screen here before I get too far into this. All right, 61 tops. It's in decent shape. I mean, if they ever come back with bulk for vintage, I will have plenty to send in. But Matheson strikes out 267 batters. Pretty decent shape. You know, I mean, I expect to get like threes, fours, fives on this stuff. But hey, something might squeak by and give me a little higher grade. Never know. But pretty cool. Hey, Greg, I got baseball. <laughs> Greg always teases me because I always want to see more baseball. All right, let me... I had to write this stuff down because I got schooled on a lot of this stuff. These are very, very cheap. They're like three bucks on eBay. Uh, maybe less or more. I don't know. Maybe John Adams was more. Man, pug hair everywhere down here. I feel like a dirt ball. But these here, whoops, wrong thing. There we go. U.S. Presidents is what it was called, and these are 52 Bowmans. 52 Bowmans. Adams and Franklin D. Roosevelt. I I don't know. I didn't even look these up. I just thought these were really great pieces of artwork, especially for 52s. Great. I mean, they're probably going to come back like ones or twos, but I was like, you know what? You guys deserve to be in a slab case one day. Vintage just does. I Just to me, it always has. Now you guys ready for some weird stuff? There we go. This is the 1937 Coronation Tobacco Cards. Very cheap. I mean, they're like three to five bucks. You can buy them raw. I just picked them up just to throw in the deal because I had to find a way to uh, add to this deal to make sense to me. And they're very, very thin, I will tell you now. Uh, probably ones, one and a half. So I don't know. But from being from 37, I said, what the heck? I'll get them. You never know when something crazy is going to go up in value. And even if it doesn't, I like it. All right. These are from 1968. Again, these are like three, four, five dollars on eBay. And these are called Rington's Tea Cards, the West. Um, just cool pieces of artwork. I mean, for me, I mean, this one's in marvelous shape here. I mean, I don't know what, how these grade and stuff. Like, I think this one here, I had like, I saw like a little crease up in, up here. Yeah. In the corner. But I was like, what the heck? We're going to get them. I like them. They look cool. They're cheap. I mean, heck, I picked that stuff up for all this stuff up cheaper than I would a box of cards. And I actually get more enjoyment out, which, you know, is always a good positive. Uh, if you guys remember, this was the other card the gentleman had, and this is what I had to really, really work at. It is banged up, but I like it. Notre Dame's four horse. That's why I picked a lot of this other stuff up to make this one make sense for me. Really nice stuff here. Um, this is like where I got the Joe Lewis uh, card and um, Custer's Last Stand. I really wanted this. He still had it. And he said, let's see if we can make this work. And we looked at eBay prices. And I'm like, all right, I'm going to make a stack here. Let's see if we can get somewhere to where it makes sense for me. And he did. All right. Last bit of pieces here. I know it kind of gets boring here with uh, some of my vintage stuff. Oop, I thought I had these up. I guess I don't. Oh, well, this is the uh, U.S. Pre this is the look and sees from back in the day. Look and see if you guys ever remember them. Um, Andrew Jackson, another president. Grant, you guys know, is a president. And Charles Dickens. Everybody knows Charles Dickens. So just some cool vintage pieces. Overall, nothing extremely expensive. Um, more stuff just for me for, you know, later on. Um I don't know whoever I will I'll pass my stuff on to down the road, but they'll probably be like, what did this dude do? Let me think where I want to go with this here. All right. 
Hopefully you guys are still staying tuned. CVC, or CVC, Joey, bullpen. I, I lied. It, it's like some kind of gold thing to it. It's um 2012 Series 1, like a gold shimmer. I thought it was Cognit. I couldn't remember. This is coming to you. Joey sent me a bunch of Nolan Ryan's I haven't showed everybody yet because I got to order a book and pages and go through it all. And I wanted to return the favor with some cool stuff. Jim Tomei, upper deck, little jersey piece there. And this is the other one, Fleer Platinum, little pinstripe in. I know he's in the Phillies, too, but you like Tomei, so these will come in your next package. I'm going to put these aside because I don't want to get them mixed up. Uh, all right, two more things, guys, two more things. Let me flip these around here. So, guy I know, um, Rob, met him a couple shows ago, and um, real nice guy. He has a lot of stuff I would like to get, <laughs> but I pro won't probably get... But we worked a good, good deal out here onto this stuff. And the highlights, the last cards why I bought it, because I wanted to upgrade one of my own. But this here, Colin Sexton, I think this is the Sunburst, if I recall right, Orange Burst, something like that. Sexton's doing pretty good overall. It is Don Rust. I got it. Um, it's not badly priced. I probably will grade it just to see what it comes out for giggles down the road if it doesn't sell. But I, I just always like these, these here and then these... The uh, Teal Explosions. This is Jamal Murray's rookie year here. I'll try to get to where it shows, but that's hoops. Something different. I did get something thrown in to make this card make sense. Trey Young. Well, hello, rookie. beautiful. Um, a lot of times, this is something I'm going to tell somebody, everybody out there, really. So if somebody's high onto something and they're like, I really can't go any lower. And it, it, I'm not talking about thousands of dollar cards, but say like somebody wanted like two hundred dollars for this or something, right? You could work with them with other stuff they have room on to make this card make sense if it's something you want to have for yourself, and that's what I always try doing. Um, but this here will go out to get graded. I I think Trey Young is just way undervalued. I'm not like I said. I'm not telling everybody go buy Trey Young. Let's pump them right now. But I'm picking them up here and there. This is just, these only came out in choice boxes. Now, remember, 1819, all right, choice. That's where we introduced the Tiger Stripe at and everything. And then these here that were exclusive to it. Nowadays, Prism has like 50 freaking versions out there of every card. So I got it. It's a different type of Prism card. But you got to remember back then, we didn't have... 60 different color parallels, peacock, oh no, Peacock's Mosaic, but all the other stuff going on with it. So I'm going to give it a shot. It'll probably nine on me. If it comes back at 10, I'll probably do the woohoo horn buzzer. I'll probably have batteries in for that. But pretty cool overall. I didn't put this in the thing yet, but that, that was my big thing of the day. Um, I was looking at some rant stuff, but I think his stuff's starting to get up there in price to where I didn't want to really mess with it. All right. If you guys stuck with the video this long, I'm going to run a giveaway, but different type of giveaway. I'm going to pick somebody I'm subscribed to's video. I'm going to put the link in the description. All you got to do is go to their video, watch it. I'll make sure it's not like a 30-minute video or 20-minute video. Something short and sweet that's kind of cool. And then all you got to do is make a comment. In there, at the end, make sure there's a space, hashtag ECB for Extreme Card Breaks, initials type deal, ECB. What I'm going to do is I want to try these comment pickers out. I'll come live when I do it and give somebody away, um, you know, a stack of cards I picked up today, which are right here. I'll show them to you. Don't worry. But again, go to the link in the description of the giveaway video. It's not my video. But I want to try to start giving a lot of other people's channels a chance. I don't want to say a chance. It wasn't what I was trying to say. A chance at winning, of course. But um, some exposure because they do put good content out. They're good people. Some of them run giveaways as well, too. And I've known them for a while, either through YouTube or when I was a breaker. However it may be across the board. So occasionally, I'm just going to throw giveaways out like this. And instead of it being like more like, I'll make a comment on my own video, maybe go comment on somebody else's video and just put hashtag ECB in it because it's supposed to recognize that when I do the comment picker. So we're going to give it a shot. So 
What you'll win is a nice stack of cards that I picked up. Ichiro. This is the old uh, leather lumber. I believe it's 2004. Yes, 2004. Ichiro out of 100. The old stamped. 100. Brett Favre, Topps Chrome, 3,000 yard club. Oops, let me back it up a little bit. And then a whole bunch of marble that I just had thrown in a deal. I have no idea what it's worth. This is DC Comic Hollow Wave Rider. I don't know. I didn't look at these. I just stuck them in clean cases. Don't know what they're worth. Um, if you got kids, you might want to give them to your kids. I have no idea. 1991. And it says 92 Series 1, so I'm not too sure. I haven't looked it up. 95 Flare Thor. Kind of cool looking. I mean, this here kind of looks like it's... We probably should block it out. Um, <laughs> another 95 Flare Moon Knight. Really cool artwork. 94 Flare Captain America. These are medals, and I forget the year. 95? I think it says 95 in the back. I might be off. These are all bases, I do believe. Oh, no, I just lied. I, oh, yeah, they're bases. I see them in the triangle. So Captain America, the Punisher, and somebody named Bishop. Again, I'm not a Marvel guy, so I have no clue on these. Um, I only wanted to keep, I think, two of them that I picked up today. Those are all flares. Let me just make sure there's none of these crazinesses on the back. Regular number, regular number. Okay, regular number. The hollow, no idea what these things sell for. They could be a dollar, two dollars, they could be twenty dollars. I have no idea. Brett Favre, Topps Chrome. And this is from thirteen? No. I was thinking it was thirteen, but I could be wrong. I can't read in here, but it, it is uh Topps Chrome. Like I said, uh, 2004 Leather and Lumber Ichiro out of 100. One person, one winner. Comment picker. Remember again, hit the go down in the description. Go to the video I chose and make comment. We'll say... I'm trying to think of my schedule this week. Let's run this Wednesday night. 8 p.m. Eastern. So, I'll come live 8 p.m. Eastern. We'll go hook up the comment picker, pick out the winner. All you got to do is be a subscriber to the channel. You don't have to subscribe to the other person's channel if you don't want to. I'm not doing all that stuff. Just make a comment on it. And at the end, space it once. Hit hashtag ECB. And we'll see how that works out. All right, guys. Appreciate y'all watching the video again. Sorry it was uh, kind of dry compared to the other ones where I have a little more action going on. Picked up a good, like I said, good chunk of cards here. I mean, this was probably like three hours of going through boxes, minus the Trey Young deal and stuff like that there. And then I did sit down with my buddy Steve's tail probably for a good hour, hour and a half, because my knee just wouldn't go anymore onto it. But other than that, guys, have a good week out there, and I will catch you guys Wednesday, 8 p.m. Eastern, live for the giveaway for these. All right, take care.